take the class on properties of continuous time fourier series we you know that the fourier series representation of any periodic signal is x of t is equal to summation of k tends from minus infinity to plus infinity x of k e to the power of j k omega into t okay and we you know its inverse fourier series also based on this we need to prove these properties first one is linearity linearity property this property says that if x of t is a time domain signal its fourier series is represented as x of k and if y of t is a time domain signal its fourier series is given by y of k okay then linearity property says that then if it is z of t is equal to a into x of t plus b into y of t its fourier series is given by a into x of k plus b into y of k a into x of k plus b into y of k let us assume that both x of t and y of t have the same fundamental period capital t okay in this case so proof is assume both x of t and y of t have same same fundamental period same fundamental period that is t okay then what is x of k here we know that for inverse fourier series that is fourier series coefficients x of k is equal to 1 by t integral of 0 to t x of t into e to the power of minus j k omega t into dt similarly y of k equals to 1 by t integral of 0 to t y of t e to the power of minus j k omega into t into dt okay let us take that fourier series of z of t that is z of k equals to 1 by t integral of 0 to t z of t e to the power of minus j k omega t into dt what is z of t here a into x of t plus b into y of t that is z of k equals to 1 by t integral of 0 to t a into x of t plus b into y of t e to the power of minus j k omega t into dt z of k equals to can take a outside 1 by t integral of 0 to t x of t e to the power of minus j k omega t into dt plus b that is 1 by t integral of 0 to t y of t e to the power of minus j k omega t into dt this is nothing but x of k and this one is okay this is x of k and this is y of k so that the z of k equals to a into x of k plus b into y of k and so it is proof this is what they asked okay this proves the linearity property next we we'll take the next property that is a time shift property a 
and one is time shift property. What this property says here? If x of t is the input, its Fourier series is given by x of k then then I'll take z of t as x of t minus t naught its Fourier series is given by e to the power of minus j k omega into t naught into x of k proof is we know that x of k has 1 by t integration of 0 to t x of t e to the power of minus j k omega into t into dt where z of k is equal to 1 by t integration of 0 to t z of t e to the power of minus j k omega t into dt what is z of t here z of t is a shifted version of x of t that is time shifted version of x of t x of t minus t naught z of k is equal to 1 by t integration of 0 to t this is x of t minus t naught e to the power of minus j k omega into t into dt let us put t minus t naught is equal to m from this i can write that dt by dm is equal to 1 dt is equal to dm integral units will be same that is 0 to t only will get what is t here t is equal to m plus t naught then z of k is equal to 1 by t integral of 0 to t this is x of m e to the power of minus j k omega into m plus t naught into dt that is z of k is equal to 1 by t x of m e to the power of minus j k omega into m e to the power of minus j k omega into t naught into dt this can be written as e to the power of minus j k omega into t naught we can take it outside it is e to the power of minus j k omega t naught 1 by t integral of 0 to t x of m e to the power of this dt is should take it as m tm that is d minus j k omega into m into dm this is nothing but x of k okay now z of k is equal to e to the power of minus j k omega into t naught into x of k okay this completes the time shift property for the time shift property if x of t minus t naught is there then its Fourier series is given by e to the power of minus j k omega naught into t e to the power of minus j k omega and sorry omega into t naught into x of k this is the time shift property next one is frequency shift property frequency shift property this property says that if x of p the time domain signal 
its Fourier series is given by x of k then take z of t as e to the power of j k naught into omega into t into x of t its Fourier series is given by x of k minus k naught its Fourier series is given by x of k minus k naught that is x of k equals to we know that x of k is equal to 1 by t integral of 0 to t x of t e to the power of minus j k omega into t into dt then z of k is equal to 1 by t integral of 0 to t z of t e to the power of minus j k omega t into dt what is z of t here e to the power of j k naught omega into t into x of t that is z of k equals to 1 by t integral of 0 to t this is a z of t is replaced by e to the power of j k naught omega into t into x of t e to the power of minus j k omega into t into dt that is z of k is equal to 1 by t integral of 0 to t x of t in these two i can take e to the power of minus omega into t is common and z omega into t is common next is k minus k naught into dt okay that is z of k is equal to we can write this one has x of k minus k naught it is same has this formula only thing is k is replaced by k minus k naught that is x of k minus k naught this is the frequency shift property what is the frequency shift property if time domain signal is e to the power of j k naught omega into t into x of t then its Fourier series is x of k minus k naught x of k minus k naught next next one is scaling property Scaling property says that if x of t its Fourier series is x of k then then x of a t scale time is scaled by a its Fourier series is given by x of k by a okay. that is proof x of k is equal to we know that 1 by t integral of 0 to t x of t into e to the power of minus j omega t into dt then Fourier series let us take let z of t is equal to I will take x of a t then z of k is equal to 1 by t integral of 0 to t x of a t e to the power of minus j k omega into t into dt okay let us prove that a t is equal to m then a into dt is equal to dm then dt is equal to we we'll get dt is equal to dm by a and what is t here t is equal to m by a when t is 0 m is 0 when t is capital t m will become a t m will become a t okay then i will get z of k is equal to
z of k is equal to 1 by t integral of 0 to a t this is when t is capital t it will be m will become a t x of m e to the power of minus j k on this is m by a into dm by a this will become z of k is equal to 1 divided by a t integral of 0 to a t that is x of m e to the power of minus j k omega m by a into dm okay this is nothing but x of k by a you can adjust like this 1 divided by a t integral of 0 to a t x of m e to the power of minus j you can write k by k e into omega and m into dm in its place of k you have k by k e. okay that is z of k is equal to x of k by e. this is the time scaling property next property is differentiation property call it as an time differentiation property time differentiation property this property says that if x of t is the input then its Fourier series is x of k then differentiation of x of t differentiation of x of t with respect to dt is given by its Fourier series is given by j k omega j k omega into x of k Let us prove this. Let us take a four year series of a periodic sequence x of t is equal to summation of k tends from minus infinity to plus infinity x of k x of k into e to the power of j k omega into t. Okay. Let us differentiate this with respect to t on both sides differentiating differentiating both sides with respect to t we'll get differentiation of x of t with respect to dt is equal to differentiating with respect to t that is summation of k tends from minus infinity to plus infinity x of k e to the power of j k omega into t let us take this outside the differentiation summation of k tends from minus infinity to plus infinity x of k summation of k tends from minus infinity to plus infinity x of k differentiation of e to the power of j k omega into t that is summation of k tends from minus infinity to plus infinity x of k differentiation of this is j k omega into e to the power of j k omega into t that is summation of k tends from minus infinity to plus infinity j k omega into x of k and e to the power of j k omega into t into differentiation of x of t with respect to dt okay comparing this equation with 
with the definition you know that differentiation of x of t with respect to dt it is summation of k tends from minus infinity to plus infinity j k omega x of k into e to the power of j k omega into t comparing this with equation that is we know that x of t is equal to summation of k tends from minus infinity to plus infinity x of k e to the power of j k omega into t i'll take this equation number 1 and this equation number 2 comparing these two equation 1 and 2 this is the definition of fourier series if x of t its fourier series is x of k here if it is differentiation of x of t its fourier series is j k omega into x of k okay. here x of t is there its fourier series is given by this equation here instead of x of t you have differentiation of x of t differentiation of x of t its fourier series is given by summation of k tends from minus infinity to plus infinity j k omega into x of k into x of k e to the power of j k omega t okay now i did the four properties remaining properties i will do it in the next class thank you